What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is down in the description below. Today I want to talk about things that are, be, that are going to be changing within Modern Warfare. Now the first things I'm going to talk about are things that Infinity Ward has confirmed they're looking at. And the last two things that I'm going to talk about are things that are just rumor as of right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that uh, Infinity Ward that they're looking at is footstep sounds. Footsteps are still way too loud unless you're playing things like ground war where there's a lot of explosions, tanks, gunfire. Ground war footsteps are nowhere near that loud unless you want to crank your headphones up as loud as you can go. Yes, you can hear footsteps. Also, you're probably not going to be able to hear anything else when you get done playing. That's how loud ground war is in my opinion. So footstep sounds definitely need to be toned back. I do think if footsteps sounds are toned back, it will allow for more of those run and gun play styles to be or to come back to the game. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be like Black Ops 4 was. These maps are more like COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2. You could run and gun in those games, but you also had to do it a little bit uh, more strategically, I guess you would say, than you could something like Black Ops 4 that had three lane maps. But I do think if footstep sounds were toned down a good bit, where you could just hear people when they're very close to you, I think we would have a lot more of ability to you know run around the map than we do right now. The next thing is claymores. They said they're looking at claymores. Claymores right now, and to me, in game are ridiculous. They can blow you up from the front side or from behind them. It's pretty much impossible to hack them because they will blow up on you. Uh, sometimes it's impossible to shoot them because they will blow up on you. So they're definitely looking at claymores. They're also looking at buffing the EOD perk. They did not say what they're going to necessarily do to this EOD perk, but we are going to get a buff to it apparently. Uh, the other thing they talked about were the, uh, the spawn systems or the spawning just in game in general. Now, you guys know I've said this many times here on the channel for many different uh, FPS titles. I do not mind getting spawn trapped. I would rather get spawn trapped than get shot in the back every two seconds and, you know, this the spawn be flipping back and forth the whole game. But at the same time, I do not feel like an entire team should be able to trap another team and be pretty much five feet in front of them. It, it's kind of, it kind of gets on your nerves. I know a lot of people don't like it. I don't absolutely hate it, but at the same time, I understand some people don't like it. So they are working on the spawn system. Hopefully we'll kind of can meet a happy medium at some point here during the game's life cycle. And last but not least, another thing that Infinity Ward has confirmed they're working on is weapon tuning. Right now, the M4 is the best gun in the game by far, uh, followed up by the double barrel over under shotgun. Um, both of these weapons dominate at all ranges. The shotgun is pretty much a sniper rifle. I understand they were going for more realism with the shotgun. Yes, a shotgun has crazy range in real life. But in this game, an engagement at 40 feet, you should not be able to win with a shotgun because you're, there's not that many get engagements that's you know longer than 30 to 40 feet. That's more AR and submachine gun range in most Call of Duty games. But in this game, the over-under shotgun can dominate at pretty much all ranges. And the M4 is just head and, sh head and shoulders above everything else. If you use anything else besides the M4 or the shotgun, it is hard to consistently play well. Some people can, some people can't. I think everything needs to be kind of buffed up to meet the M4. I don't think they need to start nerfing everything right yet. I think they need to buff these weapons uh, kind of to make them on an even playing field and then kind of go from there and see what happens. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the things that are kind of leaked information right now, things that aren't confirmed by Infinity Ward. The first thing is data miners have pulled over 38 maps out of the PC version of the game. So, who knows if all of these maps will be coming to the game. I hope they will be. I hope that we're going to get a lot of free content within this game. And last but not least, uh, there also is rumor that the mini-map will be returning to normal by the end of the month. Personally, I don't care if it's like it is now or like it used to be. Either way is perfectly fine. I know a lot of people want it back to the old way, but that might be changing as well. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.